This video is sponsored by Scott's YouTube Scented Candles. They really stink. Well, hello everyone. You know, it's me, Undependable Bob. That guy that you... No, that's Scott. Well, anyways, it's me, Undependable Bob. Speaking of Scott's, not Scott's. Anyways, Scott said I should do this video for three reasons. Number one, I'm the one that came up with this idea. It's been like a really hush-hush, uh, like top secret thing to him that I've been working on. And number two, um, well, I'm the one that's been working on it. So that's the main reason why I'm doing the video. Uh, so so that, that also kind of explains why Scott's been kind of uh well not doing videos because i you know he promised me he'd be like you yeah, okay I, I i won't say anything because i want this to be a surprise to everyone and that and well he's got a job like a lot of you guys out there and he's been really busy but he's been kind of helping me with all this so before i show you uh what you're about to see um it's uh well i, I got kind of a hobby of mine as well um, it's, in other words, with my job, I have to work with a lot of condiments and all that, like mustard and ketchup, and the other one's a secret ingredient, they won't tell me what it is, but it's got like a bunch of herbs and spices and other stuff in it. But anyways, I like to like mess around with it from time to time, and I came up with this like secret formula, okay, and it, and it, it just like, you know what, I need to do something with this. It combine it with all the you know like the masks and stuff well at least four of them I can only find one of them right now but I did I, I tried it like on four different masks okay um, you guys have all heard that one really classic famous like monster movies you know back in the day the one that was made like in 1933 from James Wells I think it was a novel from HG Wells I'm pretty sure it's been a while but The Invisible Man, okay? That movie, I was a little kid, I used to like watching the Frankensteins and the Phantom and, and the Creature from the Black Lagoon. But there was something about the, the Invisible Man that not only petrified me, but I also kind of wished I could do that too. You know, like disappear, you know, go up into a, like a bar's room and like, you know, work on my condiments and not have anybody bother me. But you know that. But you know, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should watch the first, the original Invisible Man. It was like back in 1930. You don't have to go back to 1933 to watch the movie. It's like uh, available on video, or if you've got Shutter TV like I do and like Scott has, it's like available right now on Shutter TV. It's pretty. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You know, for something back in 1933, it was pretty. They must have had the same and ingredients that I had with the condiments to make him invisible. I can't think of the actor's name because I'm always busy with stuff, but uh, thing, he had a hard time seeing him in the movie anyways. So anyways, let me go get the, um, like I said, I, I, I have four, I lost three of them, and this one I kind of wrapped up real quick and I was able to put the hair, let me go get real quick, I'll be right back. You see, when we are out there testing our products every day, like the uh, the Scotch YouTube scented candles, we went through all of the mountains and the forests that are located near Xenia, Ohio, to capture that perfect aroma scent for Scotch YouTube candles. It was just, it was an experience I'll never quite forget. Okay. Bam! Wabooma! There it is. This is the mask that I made. It's I call it the Invisible Man Secret Sauce Style. Um, I put some uh, bandages around it. I was trying to do it like in the, the 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 classic version, but I'm not very good at bandages. So I was just like, you know what? They kind of want to, you know, let's be more like today's style. Make it kind of, you know, like he's kind of hurt, but he's not, you know, because there's like bandages and all that on him. And then I, I was able to put some hair on them right here and all. That was another reason why I lost the other ones because I didn't put it in hair because I like 
I put that secret ingredient in my spray gun and I sprayed the mask down and then I let it like dry overnight. I was like, oh crap, where'd they go? <laughs> when you spray something in vegetable, it's hard to find them. So anyways, um, I was able to see one of them. Like I said, so I put the hair on it and I wrapped it up and I'm hoping you guys can see, um, well not see, but well, you know what I mean, I hope. But anyways, um, yeah, this is why Scott and I have been kind of busy lately because we've been working on this and um, actually Scott's just been working and I've been, well, anyways, um, I hope you guys like this and if anything, I'll try it on and show you guys what it looks like. Well, maybe something like that but because it's invisible or something i'll take the i don't know i'll figure something out here like i said you know it's it is it's a visible mask okay so you gotta understand just go check out the invisible man it's a really cool movie it was ahead of its time there's no doubt about it um because like i said they they probably didn't have secret ingredient uh uh condiments like they do now you know what i mean so anyways I'm going to go ahead and go try to put this on, show you what it looks like, and uh, hopefully you guys will see more videos from Scott soon, because I know he's been real busy, but I know he's been doing some other stuff too, to kind of show you some stuff. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and try this on real quick. I'll see you guys later, okay? See ya. Remember, you can count on me. I'm Philip Bob.